really quick, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the desk thing. This is for version v0.6.0 and may not work in future versions, but you can use this as a quick guide. To start things off, I'll go to the desk thing GitHub and this will be linked in the description of this video. Uh, here we're going to basically use as a hub to get the rest of the links everywhere else we need to go. The first thing will be to go to the official desk thing website and we'll save that for later. Scrolling down, we will have this button here called flashing and we want to click this image dumps and this super bird tool. Um, you can just middle click them to open them in a new tab. Um, then scroll down a little bit further. This is going to be for Windows as far as Mac and Linux are concerned. The setup process should be similar, just not the exact same. Uh, we are going to go to Windows only and click Zadig right there. So we're going to start by going over to um, this, the mega thread, and we're going to download 8.4.4 ADB enabled. And um, you can just go here and begin that download process. Um, once that finishes, we're going to download it to a location on our computer that is memorable. Uh, this can be anywhere. Um, I have that up right here. I just put it in a random file that I can figure out and find later. Uh, we will wait for that to finish. Okay, we can see that that is finished. We can quickly save it right there. And then we can go over to this uh, super um, super bird tool and make sure that this is the one from the car thing hacks community. There is another one, as you can see here, this one is outdated and will not work as well. So we're going to click the code button and then download zip. This will download a zip file of the project and we can just save there. And then finally, we're going to go over to Zadig and we're going to scroll down to download right here ignore all the ads and we will also down this download that right into that same folder finally uh, go over to the car thing hacks community and scroll down and you will see uh, under Windows we have Python for Windows we need to make sure that this is installed as well um, we will just go here and get the Windows installer um, that would just be here and there we go Okay, once all of those are downloaded, we should have them all right here. We can just start off by extracting this and then uh, double clicking Zadig um, just to get that. Uh, no, we won't do that. Let, yep. Uh, double click Python to make sure we install that. Um, I'm just going to upgrade what I already have because it eh, might as well. While this is downloading, you can go over to the desk thing app and you can click the respective installer. We are on Windows, so we will click the desk thing Windows and this should begin the install process. Um, we can just save there and just go ahead and um, get this out of the way. Okay, and now we can just finish for Python. Okay, setup has been finished and now we can just close the installer. So now we can right click on File Explorer, click Open in Terminal, and then once this loads, we will type Python version. And when you hit enter, it'll say what Python version you have and then hit version. If either one of these do not show up, then you will either have to add the directory to your path, which will be shown later, or try reinstalling Python. Pip should come with Python. Okay, now that we verified those are both installed, we are going to run these commands. So we can just take that and put it in. And we're just gonna do these one at a time, just to be sure. Um, we will just wait for that to finish. Okay, and now we can go to PyUSB, paste that in. And then finally, we can do the libusb. Okay, once all of those have been done, we want to go out, create a new tab, or just open up a new file explorer, go to your C drive, scroll all the way down to Python, and then you want to go to lib, and we're just following this directory over here. Go down to site packages, 
libusb, which should be right there. And then you want to go platform, windows, and x64. Uh, We're going to save this here, and we will come back to that in just a second. Uh, next, we need to go Windows S uh, to go here and then type environment um, and you should see edit the system environment variables. Once we open that up, we will click environment variables and then under here under system variables, scroll down until you see path. We're going to go edit and these are the two directories that you need in case Python isn't working. Um, and if it wasn't working before, this is where you'll um, add that. But for now, we're going to go back to File Explorer, back to here where we have this file. Click up here and then copy. And then over here, click New and then Paste. Once we do that, we can hit OK, OK, and then make sure that um, everything is set. And you can hit OK and back the way um, back out. We are going to right click ADB enabled and we're going to click Extract All. We then want to hit Browse and we want to go to um, Superbird tool, Superbird tool main, and then we want to create a new file and call this Okay, it is now finished and we can just double check by going to Superbird Tool Main and going to A to B Enabled and we can see that all the files are right here. Okay, now we are going to go back to our terminal and we're going to type CD and then tab until you get to Superbird Main Tool, CD tab again, and then finally um, we are going to get ready to run these scripts. But first we need to configure the car thing. Um, we can see over here, just following along the tutorial, getting that ready. Okay, now we're going to get into setting up the car thing itself. Step one is to get a cable. Um, make sure that this is a USB-C cable and one that can fit into the back of the car thing. Um, there are several cables that won't work for this and the one that comes with the car thing, unfortunately, will not work. It has to be a data cable, one that can transfer data through it and a power cable. And we have to um, make sure that it is plugged directly into your computer. No USB hubs, not the front port. Uh, make sure it is going into the back of the computer and that you don't have anything connected to your computer that draws too much power. Uh, laptops especially, it would be a good idea to unplug everything but this cable because sometimes the car thing requires a lot of power and it will save you a headache later. Okay, we can remove any type of mounting hardware and then we can go through and just plug this in just to show you, this is just your bog standard um, car thing. I just got this, it's brand new. Well, it's never been modded before. Um, if you have this screen, you can just press the uh, fifth button and this front button, and you can see, there we go. We get it to boot as normal. And there we go. We can see that it is working as expected. Well, we're going to unplug that. We're going to hold buttons one and buttons four, and then we're going to plug it back in just like so. And you will know that this worked because the screen stays blank just like so. Um, we're just going to give this a second and you can see the screen is still blank. It is still plugged in. Uh, that tells us that this is ready to be flashed. Okay, back to the computer. We want to go to Zadig that we downloaded a while ago, double click it and then click Options and click List All Devices. Then we're going to click this drop down, and you want to find GX Chip, just like so. And you want to go here and just go through here until you find uh, Lib USB K. Um, I just saw it. There we go, this one. Um, there are a couple more that you don't want. You want this one. So we're going to click Replace Driver. There we go, the driver has been successfully installed. We can now hit close and we can close this. A quick way to check is go to device manager. And then you should see under libusbkusb devices, 
GX chip. That tells you that this was installed correctly. All right, back to the terminal. We are going to go here and ensure that you are in this directory and we will start running these commands. Uh, first, we want to run find device just like so. And you see that there is a device that is booted in USB mode, buttons one and four held at boot. This is a good thing. This means that it is working. Now we will enter burn mode. And you can see it's going to take just a second. Okay, now we can go to the uh, desk in GitHub, scroll all the way down to flashing, and then right down here, we have our command for restoring the device. We're going to copy that, go over to PowerShell, run paste, and then run ADV enabled. Uh, make sure that you have this period right here, and make sure that ADV enabled is the file over here called ADV enabled, and that is where we put our flash. That file can be named anything, it just has to match. Okay, we'll hit enter, and you can see that it's going to start flashing the device. From here, we just have to wait, and then it should be done. There we go. Okay, we can now see that the car thing has finished. Um, that actually went with no errors. Sometimes you will encounter an error, and when you do, you just have to unplug the car thing, plug it back in, and then uh, use device manager to ensure the drivers didn't get messed up, re-enter burn mode, and then restart this process. Okay, uh, next I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in. And now we can go out to um, where we downloaded everything and then double click the desk thing. Right now, the car thing is completely set up for any other types of modifications you want. It should be with um, ADB and RNDIS both enabled. Um, however, we want to set up the desk thing. So we are going to get started on that right now. There we go. We can see that this has uh, finished installing and we can go to ADB and see that the device is showing up. If for whatever reason it is not showing up, we're just going to make this wider and then go control shift I and then go to console. Um, here we will see a uh, list of devices attached and it will tell us there. If this does not work for whatever reason, then um, just go to the Discord and start talking there. Um, I'm constantly trying to fix any bugs with this, but there are still a few, especially on Mac and Linux, because I do not own one. So, we have the device here. Now let's get the latest web app on there. We're going to go to web app, beta, and we're going to select um, RNDIS or ADB. Both of them work. Um, ADB just is a little bit more of a hassle. RNDIS should just work. Uh, we're just going to open that up. And you can see it is now done. Um, don't have a confirmation there. I will later. And now we can click um, push staged web app. And once it's done that, you should see the time on the actual car thing. Um, now we are in desk thing territory because we have now made this work with our desk. Um, that should be absolutely everything you need to get the base standard version of this working. However, we also probably, probably want more than that. So we can go to apps and we can go to web apps and we can open up the beta and see all the apps we have available. Start with utility, click that and then click Run Utility. Then we're going to do any one of the other ones. Uh, let's get Weather, and that should um, throw an error. And then we're going to get MediaWin, 
and MediaWin is just the Windows Media. Um, there will be one for Linux and Mac, but I do not have one to develop on, so I cannot actively work on those. Um, I do apologize. Okay, we can click Run Local, and then we're going to go to Spotify and run Spotify. All right. We are now getting all of these errors, and that is because we need to input some data. So if we go back to this original tab, we can see that they are requesting data from us, the user. Um, I am not going to show how to set that up for sake of sharing my keys, but all of the instructions required for this are listed right here. And so we can see whether it has requested data, and we can see how to get that, and with links that you can click to go there. Um, once those are set up, they will work just fine. Back on the car thing, we want to swipe down and you can see all of the apps up here at the top. We want to go to utility and then go to um, utility. We can see playback, playback location and this is where you can switch between both local and Spotify. Um, for now, we're just going to do local audio. Okay, um, we can now click one of the top buttons and this will bring us to the hotkey at that location. Like for instance that, okay, well that just worked. Um, and from here, we should be able to play and it will start playing audio. Okay, uh, we can just pause that for now and everything should be functioning. Okay, back to the desktop app, just a few other things. You can go to device and start remapping your hotkeys or um, you can go to logs in case something goes wrong. This should have enough information if you were to send it over to piece together what happened. Um, one thing I recommend is going to ADB, clicking on your device and then clicking disable ambient light just because it can get kind of annoying constantly like becoming bright and getting dark all right well that is everything having to do with setting up the desk thing i hope this helped and i hope that this will help several people go through this process because i know it can be confusing and eventually it will be easier but for now this is what we have to deal with this has been riprod and that has been all Thank you.